Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. And today we are going to be doing my final Fable Crate unboxing. So, if you guys are wondering why this is going to be my last unboxing, a couple of reasons. One, I need to save money. <laughs> Two, I have ordered the Fairy Loot adult box, which I'm very, very excited for. And to be honest, over the last couple of unboxings, I've kind of been a little bit disappointed. But I am downgrading to the book and pen only box. Because I've been finding a lot of the items in the last couple of boxes really are items I won't use and just take up space. And like I said, first and foremost, I do need to save a bit of money. So unfortunately, I am sad that I'm not going to be getting the full box anymore, but I'm still getting the book and pen crate. So without further ado, let's get into my final ever unboxing of the Fable crate. As usual, we have our lovely box. And this month's theme is Myth and Monsters. All right. So the first thing we have is the pin, which is designed by the lovely Jody. And I think this is inspired by Heartless. Yes, so this is inspired by Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which I haven't read. <laughs> Added to the list of books I haven't read. This is a very, very, very cute pin. I love it. I love Jody's pins, they're so awesome. Right, so the next thing we have is the reusable straw. Okay. I need one of these. Does anyone else hate those paper straws? Me too. I can't stand them. I always get crushed. Halfway through my drink. And this might be something that I actually will use. Eat, drink, read, repeat. Sounds good to me. Okay. Comes with a little brush to clean it. Okay, so we have our little metal straw here. I have to remember to put that in my hair pack. <laughs> Very useful. I actually may use this because I hate those paper straws. I absolutely despise them. They're just, they're useless. Cool. So that is the little straw. Let's find a charger by the look of it. Oh, I need more phone chargers. Cool. This is a... Inspired by so this is inspired by Percy Jackson. You can see we've got the little symbol there. Cool, I need more phone charges. I actually got useful stuff in this one. Alrighty, so the next thing we have is what looks to be a key ring. And this is a Jacob Black inspired one. Okay. We have a little double keyring there, picture of a wolf. You can never have too many keyrings either, I don't think. And the next thing we have is, ooh, it's a pop funko. All right, so the next thing we have is a Girls of Rivia Funko Pop. It's obviously inspired by The Witcher TV show. I love The Witcher. Harry Cowboy is just mwah. Beautiful. He's such a gorgeous man. Oh, so cute. Oops. Alrighty, so this says, oh, I'm not really good with impulse control. <laughs> that reminds me of my book buying. So, okay, so it's like a little... It's a little display plate. I don't know where I can put this. I have to find the spot. Alright, and this is... What's this is by by? Okay, so this is inspired by the Vampire Academy. Yeah, it's another book series I have not read. That's really great. I quite, I don't mind some of the stuff in here. The thing we have is a banner. And this is inspired by Akatar. Okay, so this is a Pharaoh inspired one. Let me just open it up. I 
don't know where I'm gonna stick these flags, honestly. I've got the room in my house as it is. Oh. Alrighty, so obviously it's Akita inspired. I quite like that, it's very nice. Don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's very nice. Alrighty, and the last thing we have is obviously the book. Now, I did see the spoiler for this book and I'm very, very excited. So, this month's book is Only a Monster by Vanessa Len, and Vanessa is an Australian based author. Okay, so we have the little letter from the author. I Usually, there is a spot signed book play, but I think they didn't arrive in time, but I'm pretty sure they're going to arrive next week. Oh, but as usual, we have the lovely sprayed edges. I love black sprayed edges, they're really good. We have the lovely end paper. And this says, you're a hero and I'm a monster. There's only one way that story ever ends. Okay. Okay, so nothing. It's not impressive. Let's check it this one. That's all right. So this book I've been very, very excited about. I did consider buying the original paperback, but when I saw this was coming in the Fable Crown, I'm like, yes. All right, so I'll read you guys the synopsis about this book. Don't forget the rule. No one can know what you are, what we are. You must never tell anyone about monsters. Only a monster will kill a hero, right? Every family has its secrets, but the summer Joan Chang Hunt goes to save the green in London. She learns is bigger than most. The Hunts are one of 12 families in London with terrifying hidden powers. Joan is half monster and what's more, her summer crust? I'm sure, I think that's a spelling error. I'm sure it's supposed to say crushed. This is just a cube. It says crust, not crushed. <laughs> Nick, is, is it just a cute boy? He's hiding a secret as well. A secret that places Joan in terrible danger. When the monsters of London are attacked, Joan is forced on a run with the loose Ruthless Aaron Oliver, heir to a monster family who are sworn enemies of her own. Jones drawn deeper into a world that shimmers with hostilities, alliances, alliances oh, I can't talk to this morning, can you just tell I got out of bed, and secrets. Her rare and dangerous power means she's being hunted. She'll have, to, she'll have to embrace her own monstrousness if she is to save herself and her family, because in this story she's not the hero. Oh. Oh, I'm so so excited to read this. Um, I've heard only, I've heard a lot of great things about this, and oh, can we just appreciate the cover? Oh, stunning! Okay, guys, so that was the Fable Crate unboxing for what month is it? February? I'm pretty sure it was February. I, I can't keep track anymore. But yes, that was my final ever un Fable Crate unboxing. Um, I am a little bit disappointed um, to be downgrading boxes, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I do need to save money this year, she says, because she bought the Fairy Lou adult only box, but we won't talk about that. So that is where I'll leave this video for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do give it the big old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.